This is a newer quick release clamp kit. I received this product for free to review. It would cost you $50 to purchase. I have not been paid for my review and my opinions are my own. So in the box we get the clamp kit and the instruction manual. So it has an extra long plate here with a 3 8 and a quarter inch um, screw and it also has this port here so you can remove or reinstall these guys depending on which one you're using. It also has numbers so that you can get the balance point correct for a particular camera. You can remember what number it's at and then just put it right back there. Um, they have this little flip here, here, standard or for RS2, RS3. And so basically when you pop this thing in, it auto snaps. And so, you know, you get it ready, put this thing in place, pop it down. It auto snaps, it auto locks. Now let's talk about the base. So on the bottom, it currently has a quarter by 20 hole because it has a thread adapter inside of this 3 8 inch hole. So if you need to get that out right now, it's super loose. Um, they probably didn't tighten it at the factory, but it has kind of a, a slotted screwdriver hole there. And so it'll go into a 3 8 inch tripod this way. Or if you reinstall this guy, you can install this on top of a standard quarter inch tripod. Now there's also a few other mounting holes here, here, and, and four around there. Um, you know, you can drop screws into those and mount into other things. But primarily here's this is tripod mounting hole. Um, now here's the lever here. There's kind of a thumb rest so you can easily grab this and pinch. Um, it can be used standard Manfrotto style or DJI RS2, RS3. Um, now you might notice that it, it popped there as soon as you push this thing down, it pops. I had it pop once on its own. Here it's popped on its own. There it's popped. Okay. Alright, snap wood. Um, so you put this base in and essentially as soon as the base touches that little pin, it'll snap closed. And it's not sliding here. Now you can tighten it a little tiny bit more that way, but it's really locked in place. It's not moving. There is a lock here. If you push that lock down, it doesn't prevent this from loosening. It just prevents it from going all the way. So when it loosens, this guy will slide forward and backwards. And you can see here, it slid that way but it slid off this way. Now if you put that thing like that, then I need to open the whole thing up, so let me do that. So if you have it like this, that's touchy. So if you have it like this, you have it locked in place. Now, when this is down, it won't pop out. So that's one thing to keep in mind, is that this plate that they provide is RS2, RS3, not the standard for sliding in and out. Um, so, um, that's how you use it. When you lock this, it can slide, but if you have that switch set correctly, it won't fall out. Um, when you release it, it pretty much just locks on its own. I can kind of slide it, but if you push this just a little bit more, it's totally locked. So this whole thing is 391 grams. You know, that's a decent amount of extra weight on your tripod. Um, and, you know, this mounting plate here is kind of heavy to add to the camera as well. But it's designed for large photography and video equipment. It's not designed for, you know, a small GoPro or something. This is, you know, to hold in something impressively large um, and all you have to really get used to is when you set this in don't set it down straight or tilt it that way you have to set it down with this side first so that when this touches it's ready to latch and it, it's in there it has a bubble level on the top for helping to level your tripod head and one feature I really like is that right here magnetically attached is a little allen key so you can use that to tighten these screws and any other screws with that kind of standard allen key size. And I really like that's just magnetically attached, it just stays in place. When you need it, you know where it is, put it back, it's back. So this is Luneman alloy, some stainless steel, very well made setup. Uh, you know, it is going to be pricey because it's a premium product, but it's really nicely made and it holds very well and it just locks right in place there.